Welcome back, everyone. This is day three of Flat Cap Dan and Big Stew, the dirty, dirty mongrel. Welcome surviving. back, guys. <laughs> Surviving in the wilderness. I'm going to nom some rabbit. Om nom nom. Fortunately, it's not vegan friendly, this game. <laughs> I wonder, I bet you could actually get through this on berries alone, but it wouldn't be half as easy. Or well, fun. if you had any kind of conscience, Dan, you would. <laughs> but what does that no say about me? <laughs> Only other senses are heightened. So, what I was going to do is finish crafting these log sleds and we can continue gathering all of these trees and taking it back to base. Yeah, I'll keep cutting down because that still needs to be done if you want to work on that. Yep, of course. Uh, just this is the beauty of multiplayer survival games like this is that you can do two jobs at once effectively. Because the one thing that the grind on these games is generally that you can only do the one thing. So. I'm yes, actually looking forward to it. the the other the other crew coming and joining. And see oh yeah, how, how now the dynamic works um, with many many people. The chaos will ensue. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. More to the point where there'll be a couple of us <laughs> happily building away or surviving, and then there'll be one bringing back a horde. <laughs> no. I'm on fire again. Yeah, I'm just looking at gathering some sticks to bring back because the log sleds hold 12 logs a piece mm. yeah. so you can cut down three trees, take it back to base cut down three trees, take it back to base or if there's two of you working on it, you can take 24 back oh. and so on Seems to be relatively peaceful around here as well yeah, there's. It was on a different playthrough. Just when I was experimenting on solo, we managed to accidentally make a base bang in the middle of where all the enemies liked meeting up and resting. So you couldn't get out of your base without having to get through a massive fight. So basically, the ex the extinction extinction rebellion was uh, outside your base. Mhm. Mm What we've also done since the last episode, guys, is started the foundation again, which you can see just down there. Hence the new target of 107 logs. Yes, we could build a bog standard base without custom buildings, but why not have a water base since we can? Why? Why wouldn't we do that? If we're killing stuff, we may as well be making a good base with, with our earnings. So I've finished one of the log sleds, so I will bring this over to where you've been deforesting the world. Mm-hmm. Hence the extinction, extinction, extinction rebellion. Jeez. The extinction rebellion is after us, cutting trees <laughs> down, quite rightly as well. It's only a game. And as well, a tip: if you're building, if you go to the, if you, when you're cutting down a tree, obviously the tree falls down, and it creates four logs in the direction it falls. It falls in the direction that you, the opposite. Oh, careful, Stu! <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> Speak of oh, the devil. Oh, that's for good. That up. Can you see it flying? Um, <laughs> on cue. That is. You can flip it by oh. just equipping it, but you can <laughs> aim the way you, you want your tree to fall down by basically. Sorry, birdie. <laughs> what the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, it's C. <laughs> Have you just been unloading that? Not, yeah. Well, I've been trying to pick them up, but it's not working. Dumbass. So, so if you get to the side, of, so if you want to, say like I do, want the tree to fall towards our base, if you go to the opposite side of it and begin chopping until it's down, you will make sure it falls in that direction. Yeah, onto the log, <laughs> the log sled, making it My fly bad. quite unnaturally through the air. Yeah, There's some robust sticks, those. Timber. Oh god. Dangerous dam. <laughs> it's not far away. 
It's either a good aim or a poor aim, depending on your point of view. Yeah, it depends whether you want to kill me. Oh! Oh. What have you got? I'm trying to see where you can, we can get to it. Oh, I'll show you in a second. I'll bring these logs back. Geronimo! So it's a bit awkward, but if you go, like you say, just here, yeah. and then look. Oop. So if you go just here, and then it lets you to your point, right. point, to the, point to the right, it lets you build. There you go, that direction. Uh, just to the left now. So if you if you come here, if you let me oh. <laughs> to me, to me, to you. So yeah, if you kind of point to the middle and then you found it. So you need to go in on this, in on that log. Or if needs be, I, I'm happy building if between us if we chop. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you do that. That'll frustrate <laughs> me. I'll uh I'll drop the logs. Wee I'll be with you in a second because I've made it I've got enough to finish off that second log sled as well. There's another log here as well. Ah, right. I'm just figuring it out. Right over the fire. Right <laughs> over the rocks. Nothing to see here. Yep. Excuse me, let me use. There we go, that's one like. Second log sledding, do we? Oh, nice. Oh, there was one hidden in the rocks. Oh, ball bags. <laughs> Press D again. It's as if I'm trying to be stupid. Have Aww. you been practicing, Stuart? <laughs> yes. And again, it's like many games where you've got the grind of some sort. This is quite a. Compared to somewhere, you could, if you wanted to build something like this, you'd have to work for hours. It's relatively quick. Tortoise. I don't need to kill that really, do I? No, we've got three. Leave it. <laughs> and in a future episode, what we will do is we will try play this on VR as well. <laughs> <laughs> the vegan version. <laughs> we'll try and do what? Sorry, you cut out there. Uh, play on VR. Oh yeah. Well, I Possibly for the next episode where we explore a cave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you do that. Oh, oh, run away, tortoise. <laughs> it was fine. Oh, oh. Now there it is. I need to drop them. So if you want to drop it into the sled, it's C. If you want to pick it up, it's E. But if you want to drop it on the floor, it's G. Simple. Got to admit, compared to a lot of games, this con this game's control system is miles simpler. Yeah, it's great. I'm not sure how big the team is that that made this either. I'm not sure either. I know it's a Canadian team that developed it, but hats off to them for the game that they've made. 
Yeah, it's for me it is one of them games that it's like hearing a song that you think, oh, I would have done that. Just like that. They've made it exactly the same as I would have made it and there's nothing I don't think that I've found either unfair or frustrating to the extent where it's game breaking. I think it's perfectly balanced. But that's playing it in the old style, what you've described, when you get to day 31 and they're attacking you non-stop. Oh, it becomes it like a zombie Gallagher. Oh, it depends where you are as well. Because we, we I think we, oh, we picked a, a rather challenging spot <laughs> to use, shall we say. So yeah, I'm gonna... I may do this and then continue my hunt for a, a cooking pot. Oh yeah. This is where we could do a bit of crossover with Minecraft, go and, buy and find a bit of iron ore. <laughs> The ray tracing version of uh, Minecraft's not far off, I don't think. That w that's going to be impressive. There's one of the things that I was considering is there's uh, is it RL Craft, Real Life Craft, where you can oh, play yeah. in multiple different mods. Um, watching one of the other guys on YouTube play that, and that just looks incredibly good fun. Hmm. There was one review that I read online about it and saying that they uh, want to. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the log logs to here and just dump them down. I was going to say, I've just put the other sled over there, so I'll tell you what, swap the other sleds, the purple. Um, if you want to go down and, and I'll drop them down to you. But the guy reviewing it said they wanted to die and be reincarnated in there. <laughs> in uh, Minecraft with ray tracing because it was that beautiful. Looking forward to it. Seeing as we've both got brand spanking new ray tracing graphics cards as well, it'll be uh... yeah, it'd be a poor excuse to not. Pl oh, it'd be a if we weren't to play it, it would be it'd be silly. A bit silly. That's just silly. Stop this now. That's silly. Stop that. It's silly. He says while making a boat house. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with that, that's not silly. It's feasibility uh, taken to its nth degree. It's blue sky thinking, thinking outside the box. I like it. <laughs> right, so. Blueberries. I'm going to harvest some blueberries and then I'm going to, whether you fancy joining me, um, we'll do one more set of log sleds, I think, and then shall we it's potentially have. Should we potentially have a nighttime excursion? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's you, Jesus. You scared the shit out <laughs> What you try and do is knock a tree down into another tree. And then that domino effects into another tree, and so on and so forth. Have you crafted a pouch yet from two I rabbit haven't. skin? No. If you craft a pouch from rabbit skin, you can collect berries from bushes to save for later. Ah. So I've just gathered 15 berries to save for later. Do they go off? Uh, no. So berries are one of the Cheap. the best sustainable ways of carrying food around with you until we get a drying rack, which we could do now, but drying racks do draw cannibals to them, so if you've dried some food, they will try and come and take it off you. Right. Unless, of course, it's on the water. Ha 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 Take that, you cannibal scum. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, Plus I heart my pouch. It is like a big airy ball bag, though. <laughs> Which makes it even more worrying how you just said yeah. I heart pouch. I'm going to eat the juice out of my nice ball bag. No, oh, that's racist, some probably. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounded more like one of the three little pigs off Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's alright then, then we'll go with that. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, there's a load of logs around here. Plus, you can now upgrade your weapons as well. Ooh. Timber. So if you use tree sap and uh, feathers. Oh! Ha! <laughs> Perfect! Hoopla! <laughs> you spun it right round. Round and round. round you spin round. me round. Oh, I may have glitched the game. Uh, yep. I don't know what we've done. <laughs> I found a rather quirky glitch, guys. There we go. If you enter the men menu as you've crafted something, you can move around blind. <laughs> it's like dreaming without your body being uh, disabled. You've covered it. Yep. I think so. There we go. Okay. Right, so we're nearly at the end of the next game. I'll tell you what, it's a really nice effect they've got with the uh, shadows actually making ray trace, uh, you know, sort of god rays. Yeah, when the... you're walking past, it looks beautiful. Amazing. Well done, well done, developers. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, there's a lot of games try it, but it doesn't actually add to the atmosphere. It just feels like you've tried to give it that effect, but rather. Yeah. When you look at the trees, the trees are moving and the rays are moving with it. I'll bring this back to base. Oop, accidentally ate a poison berry. Oopsie. <laughs> Blame your wind on anything. And then, what do you fancy doing? Should we have a safe night, or shall we...? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a safe night. Cowardly lion here. Because I think foundationally we're d we're doing quite well. We well, think it would be a shame. We won't be far off getting this foundation done. Yeah. Then yes, we have to build the actual buildings in it, but that won't take too long. Also, <laughs> it's just raining logs from what goes. Hallelujah. Get to work, you. <laughs> Literally throwing materials. <laughs> Get to work. That out isn't going to build itself. I, I've always wondered why the moon looks like it's having an eclipse constantly, though. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, could we be in the afterlife? Is that this what is it all is? a dream? Yeah, or is that is that just Fortnite off in the distance when it was <laughs> made into a black hole? <laughs> it's back on now. Oh, they've started a new season, haven't they? Yeah. Oh come on! Why can't I see it? Oh yeah. So if you, so if you go and stand here, and then basically you just move your character, and it appears. So not meter size, and you rotate. So if ah, you just ah, ah. there you got go. it. Woohoo! So yeah. So shall we? Have we got food? Uh, I do have some food to cook. Let me check. It's not spoiled. Oop. Oh, a lot of raw, raw meat. We haven't. Uh... Uh, I've just put some food on. Put some rabbit on because it's gonna. Oh. There you go, there's some food on this one that's ready for you. When you... Is that go a for lizard? It when you're ready. Oh, it's spoilt. Pop this in oh, there. Yeah. There we go, food's ready. If it's... I'm nearly full, so I will happily wait till tomorrow. So the foundation's nearly done. Mm. And I think tomorrow we have a brief break from building and sort out our water supply since we've got a ready supply of food with all of the berries around us as well as all of the birds that are readily committing su suicide <laughs> mm. um, and then we can come back with a happy 
state of affairs when when it comes to having our resources. <laughs> <laughs> didn't do a thing. <laughs> you didn't see that, see? The only, how do I drop stuff that's in my hand? Uh, I don't G. want to it from. Hooray. Right, yeah. I'm going to go to sleep. On that note, so, guys, we'll before catch I do, you in the next episode. <laughs> yes, see you later. Smash that like button. This is day three, and we're doing very, very well. Very well. Well done. Biscuits for everyone. <laughs> see you later. Take Bye -bye care. Bye now.